Welcome back to uh, B and E. We're uh, still here. Haven't moved, but today is going to be a very fun one because we are going to be making burgers two different ways. Two yeah. different ways. We're gonna try them. We're gonna rate them at the end, see which one's better, so that when we do make this food truck, that's gonna happen, we'll decide which one goes on the menu. I'm gonna make a gourmet-styled burger over here with a uh, arugula and fennel salad on the side, and uh, my take on some French fries. Hi. Fries. I'm gonna make a pretty basic smash burger. Uh, I'm gonna start by uh, toasting off the bun, because once this gets going, it all goes pretty quick. Sometimes, instead of toasting with butter, I like to toast with mayonnaise. Gives it a little bit of flavor. Today, we're gonna be answering some questions from- And being brutally honest. What's for dessert? I'll answer that. I love dessert, but I refuse to make it. I really got into cooking and enjoying cooking to make healthy food taste better. And it's impossible to make a really good dessert healthy because if it's gonna be good, it's gonna be fattening. I'm all for the fat. <laughs> I'm all for the fat, I'm all for the sugar. I'm all for post-dessert coma. Okay, so we're getting very close to these being nice and toasted. Okay. <laughs> we are gonna add some bacon. Why? Because it's bacon! <laughs> if you seriously have to ask. What's the best sitcom? Uh, oh, that's... That's a tough one. Hash browned. Personally, I was a big fan of Friends. My whole family's a big fan of Friends. I think it's hard if you're talking about the best sitcoms ever to not clearly list Friends. And it's like a mood thing. Seinfeld too. Seinfeld too. I would say like the first couple of seasons of Roseanne were yeah. fantastic. Sure. All right, little bacon. I don't like my bacon crispy. I like it a little chewy. Gonna put a little cheese on that. American cheese, because nothing melts quite like it. And uh, some pepper jack. Favorite fast food burger in a pinch. Growing up in California, gotta go with In-N-Out. Yeah, you can't beat In-N-Out, right? As far as a burger goes, yeah, I think it's the best. I will say though, super underrated, Carl's Jr. You know, I used to be Mr. Beef for really? Carl's Jr. <laughs> yeah. Seriously? Yeah, it was me in a black shirt that said Mr. Beef threatening people to eat the burgers or I was gonna hunt them down like they were wild animals. It's uh, smoking in here, huh? Hey, if you can still see us. Okay, so here we go. This is why they call it a smash burger. Usually you'd want like some wax paper here for this. Oh, almost! The wax paper basically keeps it from uh, sticking. Oh, it's good. Oh my god. Bound to happen. Hey, and welcome back to a very special episode of 911. <laughs> Technical oh. difficulty. Oh no. So the. Uh, oh, it all broke. If you oh, couldn't tell, it's bad. Oh, jeez, this is this is really this is really not our finest toilet. hour, and it's burgers for crying out loud! During the commotion, I did manage to cook off the uh, burgers. I'm actually ready to start constructing here. What was your favorite sitcom? It's it's this one right here. Let's construct. This is basic bacon and cheese burger. A little bit of mustard, some bacon. Patty, by the way, I put on some uh, caramelized peppers, onions, and jalapenos. The hash browns, we are going to add more bacon. Why? Because it's bacon! The last patty on top, tomato, pickle. Top it off with a little bit of ketchup. Add the top, ah, there we go. One smash burger. Unfortunately, it's not enough to feed the fire department. Um, that's going to be showing up here shortly. Where else people kind of can learn and understand how to play well? I honestly just kind of make it up as I go. I don't have like anything. I just, I know what I think looks nice, you know, and I just kind of try to make it somewhat symmetric and I don't know, it's kind of like uh, art. Bradley also has a, uh, a Zoom plating course that he's currently class. selling <laughs> for $5,000. Hey, while you're standing around doing nothing, do me a salt. Grab the, uh, <laughs> grab the potatoes out of the oven. 
Look at you. Oh, you got a little basket. <laughs> you got a little basket for your potatoes. Look at you. Look at with the basket and the thing and the how nice. It was at this moment that he knew. He fucked up. That's probably not the thing to do. We got the fire department coming. Ambulance probably isn't that far behind. I just, I'm, I'm, I'm really blown away by your, um, by your attention to detail. The difference between serving yours and mine is the waiters would come out, make sure that the thumbs aren't touching anything, right? And just come out and gently lay it down. Whereas I would throw that at you from the other side of the room. Okay, I think, uh, I think we're good here. Dude, very nice. Wow, after all that, it actually turned out somewhat fucking okay. Once again, comment on this video and let us know whose looks better, whose probably well, tastes better. Well, obviously whose looks better, but tastes, right? Whose would you rather eat? I think both are gonna be delicious. I think both are actually gonna be really good.